Hello, my children, and welcome to the first episode of Spooky Nights. I am your host, Kristoff. If you're not sure what this show is, it is a show where I share the most scary stories anybody has ever heard of. So, if you're ready, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. The story we will be reading today is titled The Legend of K.L. The story takes place in the year 2012, and it follows a young boy named Brandon. Now, Brandon was very fond of pranks. Growing up, he was always interested in them. As he got older, his pranks got more extreme. He was constantly pranking his family, his older sisters, his dad, his mother, but last week he had taken a prank too far, which led him to get suspended from school. Now in order to punish Brandon, Brandon's mom decided that Brandon wouldn't be able to go to this movie that he really wanted to see with the rest of the family. Brandon was upset. However, he did not argue back. In response, Brandon decided that he was going to pull the biggest prank that he had ever pulled. So when his family left to go to the movies, Brandon began searching the house. Started with the kitchen, didn't find anything. Went to his mother's room, did not find anything. His father's room, the bathroom, his sister's room. Brandon had searched the entire house, but he did not find anything to help him create the best prank he had ever created. However, there was one room left in the house, the basement. Brandon's mom had instructed everybody not to go into the basement because it had been flooded due to a plumbing issue and they had not gotten around to fixing it. However, Brandon was not going to let anything stand in his way. He was going to show everybody that he was the best pranker in the world. Brandon was easily able to unlock the door using his school ID as he stared down this flight of stairs that led into nothing but pitch black darkness. His hand reached over to grasp the light switch, however, it did not work. Maybe the light had gone out in the basement. He didn't think too deep about it as he began to traverse down the stairs. As Brandon reached the last step, he began to feel his feet submerge in a vast body of water. Ugh. A sound of disgust escaped his lip. He didn't expect for the water to be this deep. Regardless, he wasn't going to let a little water ruin his master plan. Reaching into his pocket, Brandon pulled out his phone and turned on his flashlight. He didn't want to navigate this water in the dark. After scanning the room for a while, he noticed a box in a corner that sat atop a shelf. Maybe there is something in that box I can use, he thought. Brandon would begin traveling across the room. As he walked, a swoosh sound could be heard loudly echoing through the room. Swoosh. 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 Until he finally made it to the box. He began searching through the box, with each movement making a loud sound that echoed through the room. Clank, clank, clink, clank, clink, clank. In the distance, another sound could be heard. One that wasn't radiating from him. It could be faintly heard. Leave. Brandon's head would jerk back as he flashed his flashlight towards the stairs, but nothing was there. I must be freaking myself out. There's nobody home, he said, as he turned away and began fidgeting in the box again. The voice returned. Leave. 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 This is your final warning. Leave. Goosebumps started to appear on Brandon's arm and neck. Whatever that was, it was loud and clear about what it wanted. And are you going to make me leave? Brandon said, very confidently. The voice didn't respond. All that could be heard is a door slamming. <laughs> Brandon, in a terrified frenzy, began to run back across the room and run up the stairs as fast as he could, grabbing a doorknob only to notice that it was burning hot and it was on fire. He let out a loud scream before looking back down the stairs only to notice a figure standing at the bottom figure, seemingly seven feet tall, cornrows, hands as big as he had ever seen in his life, head lowered. Brandon had fell to the ground, staring at the creature, 
please, please, I'm sorry, I just want to leave. I don't, I don't, I'm sorry, I just want to leave, he said. The creature took a step. Creek. Took another step. Creek. Took another step. Creek. And as this creature's head began to raise, its soulless eyes met with Brandon's as they stared at each other, exchanging looks. And in that instant, this beast let out a sound. The most terrifying sound Brandon had ever heard in his life. And it sounded like... <laughs> Due to the shock, Brandon had a heart attack and he died on his stairs. To this day, Brandon's family is not sure what happened to him. There was no evidence of anything being down there. And to this day, the case is still open. The end.